I want to receive you to this service for the reason that God has brought you here. God has connected you to us for the reason. And I want to open your mouth and tell God, my Father, I shall not be in this place in vain. I will not be in this place in vain. Jehovah God, I will not be in this place in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to hear your voice telling God, I came here for a reason. I came here, you brought me here for a reason. My life will never be the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will never be the same again. Jehovah God, I shall not be here in vain. I want to hear people pray. Yes, I want to hear you pray, please. As now, yes, only why you are connecting to us now. Yes, Jesus, I know we are not here in vain. We thank you, Jesus, for you have a word for us. The Bible says you send your word and your word heal them. You are here to be healed. We are here to be healed. We are here to be healed. We are here to be healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Because I want you to be blessed, who are here. The Bible says the Lord sent His word, and His word healed them. And His word healed them. Amen. I know you are sick, that's why you are here. There's, you are not complete. There's something that is not complete in your life. The word of God will never come in vain. The word of God will never come and return to Him for it. The Lord sent His word for a purpose. And I see you who is here as you are listening unto me, as you are hearing me, something better is formed into your life. Something better is coming into your life. Your story is changing. I see your story is changing. Somebody said his name has changed and I see you also. Your name is changing. I see you also. Your name is changing. In the name of Jesus Christ, may somebody's name change by the word of the day. May your name change wherever you are for this world today. If you love the Lord, say amen. amen. I have come to tell you and to make you know this. There are some facts of life people does not understand. Number one fact, life is a battle. And if life is a battle, you can never afford to be neutral. Decide one thing. You fight to win or you perish. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In life, there is no becoming a neutral person. Christians are not civilians. Any man who has received Christ is not a civilian. Is well equipped with spiritual weapons and power. Is well equipped with spiritual weapon and power. Because you have received Christ, there is equipment that has been laid aside for you. There is power given unto you. I see there is power given to you. There are weapons given unto you. It is your irresponsibility to allow some nonsense to happen into your life from the camp of the enemy. I want to speak to you today. There's what we call sacred traps. The enemy has assigned to destroy you with them. Say to me, there are some sacred traps. What have I said? Sacred traps. The enemy has laid in secret to arrest you in the agenda to destroy you, in the agenda to kill you. So what are you talking, Pastor Paul? What I'm doing is this. We are here to destroy every sacred trap the enemy has laid down for your life. Every sacred trap the enemy has laid down for your trap. <laughs> if there's any trap has been laid aside to arrest your life, I have been sent by God. Every sacred trap must catch the honor. Must catch their honor. Must catch their honor. Must catch their honor. I'm saying again, any trap. Listen to me. In the book of Psalms 124, number 7, he said, Listen to us. 127, number 7. 124, I mean. Psalms 124, number 7. 
My leader, are you there? My topic I'm talking about is to disgrace, is to destroy every sacred trap of the enemy. Set to arrest you, set to destroy you. No one here shall be destroyed. Amen. I had a testimony in the, in the beginning of the week that a lady slept with a baby in the bed. But waking up in the morning, the baby is dead. And the baby was not sick. Any trap of death, any trap of sickness, any trap of shame, any trap the enemy has laid down. If I'm a man of God, that trap will never rest you. Amen. That trap will not trap you. Amen. Whenever they have set it, I call it fire. Amen. I destroy every demonic trap. Amen. I say I destroy every demonic trap. Amen. They will not arrest you. Amen. They will not trap you. Amen. At midnight, at you. when I was going to bed last night, God has not given me the word to speak to you today. And I, I, I told myself, tomorrow is a service on Sunday. What has God has to, to give me so that I can speak to the people who will be watching me and those who will be listening up to midnight? Ask my wife. In later time at two, I was awake. And then my wife wondered, what happens, man? I was asking God, if you will not give me a word, I will not go. I will not speak. I will tell people to praise. Praise and go home. I'll come with praise and we go home. And then at three, the Lord opened my eyes and told me, as you go to the service, and he showed me three people. And he told, look this one. This one has been laid waiting for him. Look this woman. This one has been laid for him, for her. Look for this one. The business is going to crumble completely and going to shut down. It's for you. Who is here? I saw you. That business is going to close down. Why? The trap has been laid for you. And God told me, go and destroy any trap of the enemy Amen. which has been laid secretly for my people. Amen. Now I know God has anointed me this morning Amen. and I'm here to decree Amen. any trap of the enemy Amen. will not trap you. Amen. I say will not trap you. Amen. I don't care whether I witches whether our tags, whoever they may be, who have accepted to be used by the enemy, they will not catch you up. They will not arrest you. They will not trap you. Their trap has been destroyed. I say their trap has been destroyed. This is that scripture. Psalms 124, number 7, says what? I've not asked anyone to sit down. Says what? It says, Yes. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. <sighs> the snare is broken. Say so it's broken. It's broken. Hey, it's broken. It's broken. That snare is broken. I say the trap is broken. I say the trap is broken. Our soul has escaped. Listen. Our soul has escaped as what? As a bird. From the snare of the fallen. Listen to me. I don't care what has been set to trap you. I don't care the snare, the type of a snare. I am here to announce to you. I am here to decree to you. The snare has broken. The snare has been 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 broken. You are safe. That's why I'm telling you, you don't need to miss any service. Every service is a word for you. Amen. I love that, Mama. Thank you for Bungoma. You have come from Mama where you came for the church and you discovered the church next year. Let me enter. May the Lord, if the God we serve is a true God, bless you. Amen. May any trap, any, any snare set for you and your family, that snare has been destroyed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been sent to tell you any trap of the enemy has been destroyed. Amen. And I want you to know this, brethren. As a Christian, you have been given spiritual weapon, yes. spiritual equipment, yes. and power. Yes. If the devil has a trap, also you have a trap. Say my man. If you have a, if the devil has a trap, also you have a trap. Yes. I say, if the devil has a gun, you have more guns than him. Yes. Listen to me. Whatever the devil does to you. It has no power to manifest. 
it has no power to prevail. Amen. It has no power to conquer you. Amen. For only God has given you power. Amen. God has given you power. Amen. God has given you equipment. Amen. God has given you weapons. What a good the Bible says they will come in one way and go seven ways. It means you are more dangerous. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are more dangerous. I mean, you know, I'm going to suffer somebody. We are going to say grace. Tell somebody. You are more dangerous. Imagine they come to you in one way. And they run from you seven ways. So it means you are more powerful. No one the Bible says no weapon from the against to you that will prevail. That trap we are set for you, I decree it will not succeed. I speak over you, even the man of God. That trap will not succeed. Someone shout glory. Amen. 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 Their trap has been destroyed. Amen. As you leave that door going home, one thing I want to have, their trap has been destroyed. Amen. Their snare has been destroyed. Amen. By who? By my God. Let me tell you, God can never do anything without you. God can never do anything without a man. God is a spirit. He must use you because you have a body. We can never see the spirit. We can see that something physical. We can see something physical. That's why I'm telling you, the Lord is the spirit. And Mama said, even the devil is the spirit. He must use a body. If he cannot find a body, he can use a cat. If he can't use a cat, he can use a rat. If he can't use a rat, he can use human being. If he can't use he can use any creature. You see around. That's what I'm saying. Not everything you meet and say is normal. Not everything you meet, you say is normal. Not everybody you meet, you say is normal. Some people, people are carriers of blessing. Some people are carriers of covenants of God. And some people are carriers of demonic forces. So you must be wise to know who you are meeting. Uh -uh. If you can't know, you may not even know who is setting the trap for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, when I talk about a trap, a trap is there. And I want to tell you, if the devil has a trap, or so called as a trap, Amen. someone who is, who is meant evil for me, Amen. you are not getting me. Someone who ever, Deciding evil for me and my family. For me and my family. Today, Today, I set a trap. I set a trap for you and your people. For you and your people. Open the Yemah 54. The Yemah 54. The Yemah 50. I'm not for you. The Yemah 50. Sorry, the Yemah 50 number 24. The Yemah 50 number 24. Listen to me. Open wherever you may be. Open the Yemah 50 number 24. I am here to tell you, even you as a Christian, you are not empty hands. Amen. You have something at hand. Amen. Life is a battle. Life is what? You can never go to the battle empty hands. God is so wise, he can never allow you to go to the battle empty hands. He has given you weapons. He has given you new equipment. He has given you power. Amen. You have been given power. Amen. We are not Christian because by virtue of, of, of going to church. We are Christian because we have received the mighty of all mightiest, Christ Jesus in us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. What the, that whom we have received is above all. And he has come from above. It's above principalities. It's above powers. Amen. It's above dominion. Amen. It's above altar. Amen. It's above names. Amen. That one whom you have received in you is more powerful Amen. than the president of America. Amen. Than any man you may think. Amen. That's why he's called the King of Kings. Amen. His name is the King of Kings. Is in me. That's why I'm not a person you play with. Because I know life is a battle. If life is a battle, I, I don't face the battle empty hands. I have grenades, I have pistols, Amen. I have matches, I have bombs, Amen. I have fire, Amen. I have power, Amen. I am equipped, Amen. I am not empty. Amen. Hello? 
Amen. You are not empty. Amen. Anyone says you can never get married is because he has laid a trap of delay. <laughs> because he knows he has laid a trap of what? Delay. Amen. No woman, listen to me, no woman here that you say you don't have your husband. Even if your husband dies, you can remarry. God has got spares. Nothing God can create without a spare. Amen. Any good car you have, or you have seen as a spare part. Some cars it forces you to import from Germany. Hey? So if men create something as a spare, even your husband has a spare. Amen. If your husband has spoiled it, you can get another one. <laughs> I'm saying you have a spare. Amen. Even boyfriend has spares. If you are killing a man, be a tender sakia too. Kwani kuna nini? Kuna Yesu peke? Ni akuna mengine kando yake? Alleluia. Hello. Now get a mutu. We are not empty hands. The Lord has deposited in us power. He has given us people and equipment. That's why we must know it. Every Christian is not empty. Yeah. When you enter in any kingdom of the devil, it is in trouble. Yeah. Look at him that Jeremiah 15, number 24. Listen to that one. I have laid a snare for you. I have laid a snare. Did you hear that uh, the devil, his snare has been broken. Our soul has been delivered as a bird. Now God is saying against witches and wizards. Babylonians are in trouble now. Even my God has a snare. Amen. My God has a snare. Amen. My God has a snare. Amen. I say my God has a snare. Amen. Listen, as the Lord speaking, number 24. Listen. You have indeed been trapped. Oh <laughs> Babylon. Oh witches. Oh wizards. Oh devil whispers. Ah, yes, snare has been laid already. To do what? And you are not aware. Hey. You have been found and also caught yeah. because you have contended against the Lord. Ah, you have contended against the Lord. What has happened now? The Lord has opened his armory hey. and has brought out the weapons of his indignation. Hey, hey. For this is the work of the Lord God of hosts hey, in the land of the child of witches, wizards, and the worshippers. The Lord has opened his armory. Hallelujah. Amen. And I've told you if the Lord has opened his armory, it means God has no way he can transport his armory. He must use somebody. He must use you. He must do what? Use me. He must do what? Use me. He must do what? Use me. Now let me tell you. I want it to be in your mind that if the Lord has laid a trap, he has used a man to lay a trap against the enemies of the Lord. Anybody who is fighting you as a Christian is fighting God. Amen. Listen to me. Anybody who is accusing any Christian, you are accusing God. Amen. And I'm not talking about these part-time Christians. I'm talking to serious Christians. The genuine Christians. Amen. People who matter. Who mean business in the things of the Lord. Amen. And I say, Makoma, because you have fought, you have fought me. Now I have laid this name and you don't know. Say my father. My father. 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 My father. Say my father. My father. Say my father. My father. Any man or woman. Any man or woman. Who has a agenda to destroy me. Who has a agenda to destroy me. I make him blind. I make him blind. I'm deaf. I'm deaf. Now I lay a snare. Now I lay a snare. For him. For him. All for her. Whatever he wants to happen to me, I set it as a trap for him or her. Ah, you're not saying it now. Say, I set it as a trap. I set it as a trap. Whatever he has prepared, against my life and my children, against this ministry, I set it as a snare for him. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You know, you have power when you speak it happen. Any Christian, when you speak, it's that what? It happens. When you speak, it's that what? It happens. Kina wari kutega nayo, tume wategea wenyewe. Amen. Listen to me, tume wategea wenyewe. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Amen. Psalm 715. Psalm chapter 17. 
Whatever they have prepared for you, be ready to take it back to them. I'm saying, whatever they have prepared for you, be ready to take it back to them. Amen. The same peace they have done for you, we are causing them to enter. Amen. Amen. The peace they have done for you, we are going to cause them to enter the same peace. Amen. We are going to cause them to enter the same peace. Amen. The same trap they have trapped you, it shall trap them today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mitego yao, ita wanasa leo. Amen. Shimo sao, wataingia wenyewe. Amen. Lana sao, sitakuwa ju yao. Amen. Lana sao, sitakuwa ju yao. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. Sitakuwa ju yao. Amen. Nasema nini? Nasema nini? Tunasema yes amechimba shimo amechimba shimo amelichimba chini sana amelichimba chini sana akatumbikia katika hadaki aliyofanya eh hey, yeye ni mjinga si sio wajinga aliyotimbia shimo ili tuingie sisi ni welevu aliye ndani yetu ni welevu aliyotutaka tuingie tulikataa kuingia wao wenyewe wakaingia wakaingia wenyewe ile shimo walichimba wanaingia wenyewe haleluya Amen. Wanaingia wenyewe. Amen. Wanaingia nini? Wenyewe. Wanaingia nani anaingia? Wenyewe. The Bible says they have dug a pit and the same pit they have entered. It has swallowed the digger. <laughs> My English may not be good. They have the same pit that they dug. It has swallowed the digger. Amen. <laughs> it has swallowed the digger. Amen. The one who created a pit for you anaingia mwenyewe sema leo hii anaingia mwenyewe i want to see you getting angry sema in the name of jesus christ ile mtao amemtegea ile shimo amelichimbia iwe ni ya kaburi iwe ni ya magonjwa iwe ni ya madeni iwe ni ya aibu Niba ni akucheleweshwa waingie wenyewe waingie 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 let them enter 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 I'm not hearing you please Hey Wapi aingie mwenyewe Sara Rama Wanaingia wenyewe. Hey! Wanaingia wenyewe. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Pastor Andrew said in two in some few hours. In some few hours. He was so much sick. Mbaka sema it's late. The wife translated kwamba hiyo late naona ukufa. Walinipigia simu nikawaambia just come to church. Come to where? At night. Anasema ni take table, ni take ramu. Anataka kuandika about the word. Amen. Anataka kuandika scriptures, wanasema ah we anataka kuandika the will. Amen. So, let me tell you. You are trapped. Thank God the trap got broken. The snare got what? The snare got what? Praise Christ. The snare got what? Broken. Now it's alive. Pigeon Makov is alive. One of my daughter told me here, one of my daughter told me that the, the cousin, the one they love most, they love each other, the cousin. Here at Manor University, I'll go during this time of, uh, of old day. It's, it's, I'll go up and down. I'll go up and down. All of a sudden, uyo kasini yake lafiki yake. The cousin, the friend, forgot and left the phone behind. And the lady took the phone of her friend. Hey, 
now try to go along. And he's covered her name and this and her sister. They are in a prayer of nine days in Etonga in the Catholic in Etonga. No? Novena. 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 In the case they called Novena. Yes. Her name was number one and her sister's name. Now, as that name was, she has tried to pray for them. You do idiots. You are going to go to university. We don't go to university. You are just pretending here. We are praying for you, Lord. No? Novena. Novena for nine days. And she had already written what should at least happen for them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then now, when she really told me, she said, I'm, I'm getting, uncle, I'm getting this and this. Okay, give me time. I went to Google to find out in the Catholic what is this in Novena. Because I didn't know. And then when I opened in the, the, the Google and then I discovered what I came to discover in is that it was an, a prayer made by Catholics for, for an agenda. You don't pray for an There's something you want it to happen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And now I wrote one prayer point. I told her, pray this prayer. My father, arise. Turn their prayers to be foolish. Turn their prayers to be what? Foolish. Don't answer their prayer. I'm telling you, the devil is so wise. He can't use somebody who is far from you. He uses somebody very close to you. You may think he's a person who wishes you well, but he has given himself to be used by the devil. I'm telling you, any trap which has been set for you, may that trap catch their honor. May the trap catch the honor. May the trap catch the honor. Anything you are doing, whether you succeed it or you fail, there must somebody behind it. If it's about failure, somebody caused it to fail. If it's success, somebody caused it to succeed. People are helpers and people can be destroyers. It is you to discern who is he. Thank God for that girl. She had to look for the form. And she found she has archived the message. And her name was there. If it was you, what could you do? If it was you, what could you do? Proverbs 1.18 If it was you, what could you do? If it was you, what could you do? Your friend, your cousin, your sister is one doing that. It's not that this is evil. It's because she has given herself to be used by the devil. May any man or woman of your family who has given himself or herself to be used by the devil, let them be delivered now. Says what? One eighteen. But they lie in wait for their own blood. Look at this. They lie in wait for their what? Own blood. Uh -huh. They lie secretly for mm. their own lives. Uh, they lie secretly for their own lives. They don't know whatever they are doing for you. That's what I'm telling you. At and even the bad news, it can never land on an electric line. Electric line, it can never land there. It knows what will happen. And if you are a genuine Christian, even the witches know they can't pray with you. Yeah. Every time they lean secretly to wait for your blood, they are waiting for their own blood. For so that trap will, will backfire. The trap will backfire. The trap will backfire. As they are lean secretly, they are waiting for their own blood. Amen. As they are waiting for their own blood. Amen. Not your blood, for their own blood. For their own blood. Praise God. Amen. When I knew this, I don't spare anyone. Whether you are my friend, whether you are my mother, or you are my uncle, you are my what? I don't care. If it has come to prayer, I pray without having any, any limitation. Anyone who has helped, who has touched witchcraft for my sake must go down. Amen. Anyone using witchcraft for my sake must go down. Amen. 
Do you know even here in the church you may find a witch here? Yes. Any witch in the house, say man here. Do you know we can find witches in the church? Yes. They may not witches who lands at night. Witches who does things, even themselves, they don't understand their witches. Yes. I came to discover this until one day recently. A lady came and told me, Baba, I have gotten a fiance. A fiance came and it was a, a, a high profile fiance. Not the fiance from the bush. From Bora Bora Psycho. Mm -mm. No, that, that fiance was a high profile fiance. I want to talk about it. The fiance flew from Nairobi, was going to out of the country, flew from and came to airport Kisumu and and was driven to see the lady. And they had like a party. A lady in this church, a party, something, some food was prepared in a high profile house. Not in a Sokomoko house. Mm -mm. It was in someone who mother's house. One of the principal's house. Fish was there. Kuku was there. Count them. Drumstick was like that. I missed. I missed. I missed. In fact, the lady enjoyed. They were left and they had discussion. The man told him, I, I'm going to come. I'm just traveling out of the country. For he, the man works out of the country. But he's a professor. Working out of the country. Told the lady, I'll come in three months time. And I'm going to see your people. The lady had come with a sacrifice in like two months, three months ago. And I prayed for her here. And I told her, you are time to open for your marriage now. The lady was so happy. The man went to Nairobi, went to Kisumu and left for the lady for a taxi. 3,000. In fact, taxi from the lady told her, I'm going to church in Kakamega. They were just in Mumias here. I don't know it was something. Mumias or Kisumu, I don't know. The lady was given 3,000, which we had met a promise of her. Half a half. I and her, whatever she receives, a half, half. Like in marriage, she's Kuharo. Amen. Amen. A half, half. Now, let me surprise you. The guy went. They were communicating. Those kind of good words. And then, as I am a father who is happy for you, the man went when he left, wherever he went, he sent for her 10,000 for breakfast. The lady brought 5,000 to me. And I said this is a testimony. In the evening service, I said here, my daughter, God has remembered her. She has a testimony. Some members who are here, as we said, pray for someone's testimony, someone is hungry. Can surprise you. The third lady, her aunt was not here. Later, the aunt called her. Look for her in town. How comes I've had you have a fiance? You haven't told me. What have I done for you? I'm hearing from the people from the church. Nobody's telling you, you are not telling me. I'm hearing you say, great man. That's the last time the man talked to the lady. So I'm asking you, who is a witch now? <laughs> they say he's a witch. <laughs> they say he's... As she was testifying here, God rescued me from death. Some people are laughing and saying, Amen, Amen. Say so someone says, Why can't you die? Why could you not die? Hello? That is the time the guy who saved three months postponed to one year. Now I'm asking you, who is a witch here now? That's why I'm saying, you, my daughters and my sons, when you get someone to marry, keep quiet. Come and tell me and put a shoulder in my mouth so I may not say. I swear there is 10,000. Amen. Hallelujah. Make, make a sugar in my mouth. Then, Baba, I've gotten this. Just can we pray about it? I will not say it. I'm promising you. I will not change. Amen. 
I will only come to tell you we have a wedding. Prepare. Uh, Pastor Swan, so be in the committee and make it for the wedding. And now he's like, who is that? Who is this? There are people here. If you are unto yourself, I think, I think inside you there is a witchcraft spirit. Yes. You are like a trap of this church here. Hey, every trap of this church here right now. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Any trap here? Catch fire! Somebody is here waiting. Anything good? Amen. Amen. I've, I've feared to say anything now. That one week to everything turns upside. Yeah. You witches in the house, your days are numbered. Amen. Your days are numbered. Amen. Any witch here, your days are numbered. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. What's happened with you? You need, you have Christ. So the person who is against you is not from America. So from Thailand, mm -mm. it's not from Mexico or Brazil. No, your enemy is very close to you. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. I am here to challenge any trap. Whoever has trapped you, Amen. whoever has trapped you, Amen. he is trapping for himself. Amen. And I'm saying he is trapping for himself. Amen. As I wind up, as I wind up, as I wind up. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise King Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to deal with those traps here. Amen. Some are ready to deal with the trap. Some are any snare laid down for me. Any snare laid down for my children. Any snare laid down for my marriage. Today, you will know my God living. You will know my God living. Hallelujah. What a you high. Amen. What a you high. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Open for me the book of Proverbs 3 26. Says what? It says, hey. For the Lord will be your confidence. For who? The Lord hey. will be your confidence. Repeat again. For the Lord will be your confidence uh -huh. and will keep your foot from being caught. And will keep you from being caught. My God shall be my confidence. Amen. My God is my defender. Amen. My God is my refuge. Amen. My God is my helper. Amen. My God is my provider. Amen. My God is my promoter. Amen. My God is my keeper. Amen. My God is my keeper. Amen. He shall be my confidence. Amen. Their trap will not catch me. Amen. Their snare will not snare me. Amen. For my God shall be my confidence. Amen. Hello. Mungwako awe ndiyo tegemeo lako. Amen. Ndiyo tegemeo lako. Amen. Today, I don't care what you have gone to. Make God to be your confidence. Amen. I don't care what you have gone to. Make God to be your confidence. Amen. They will not catch you. Amen. They will what? They won't catch you. Some of them won't catch me. They won't catch me. Quickly, listen to me, before I wind up. What can make their trap or their snare to catch you? What will empower the snare of your enemies to catch you? Number one, when you eat your tight. What can make you to be ensnared by the kingdom of darkness and be arrested? Number one, when you don't pay your tight, nobody is excused from paying the tight. Whether you are a student, whether you are you are an old mama or an old baba, it doesn't matter. Everybody, so long as you are alive, you should pay your tithe for the Lord to rebuke the defaulter. Amen. Who defaults people is the devil. So for you to be exempted from the defaulter, you must be a tighter, a faithful tighter. Not badly tightening, a faithful tighter. I'm a student. I don't give my pocket money. I'm a housewife. 
do you play jammers? How do you go make go round and you're not working? You're not thinking you're because you're a housewife, you can't play tight? It's a lie. Hello. I'm a pastor. I pay tight. As a pastor in my business, whatever I do, I pay tight. When you don't pay tight, you, you empower their snares to catch up with you. Amen? In Malachi 3, 3, 9 to 12. From Malachi 3, 9 to 12. When you keep your food tight, God rebukes a devourer for you. Tell your neighbor, be a tighter. Not, not a partly tighter, but a full tighter. A committed tighter. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, what will make the snares? They are trapped to be effective. Number two, lovers of sleep and slumber. Lovers of what? Sleep and slumber. People does not wake up even at night to pray. If witches they work the whole night. Now tell me, what is telling, what is giving you confidence that you win them? Let us go for Kesha. You don't come for Kesha. Wake up, you pray night, you can't pray. You love sleep. You love slumbering. Now that one will empower the snare of the enemy. God forbid. The book of Proverbs 2013. Somebody very good. Number three. I want to give it very fast. Very fast. Very fast. Proverbs 2013. Grace Proverbs you. 2013 yes. says, mm. Do not love sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will be satisfied with bread. Open your eyes. When you slumber, what comes? Poverty comes. Even there is a trap of poverty has already come. Has already won. The trap of poverty has already won. You like slumbering, sleeping. Number three, stinginess. You are stinch. A man who is stinch. Even five pop, you must ask the change. Even twenty pop, you want to know where it went. Stinch. Proverbs 11, 24, 25. Please read for me. Stinchness. Proverbs 11, 24, 25. There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who withholds more mm. than is right. But it leads to poverty. 25. Look at this. There's someone who scatters. Why? I'm a prayer. I talk about kenda kwa barabara uko. Apata maskini apa kwa wilicha anabariki. Akienda kanisa na apata mtu anani anabariki. Akienda ni ai napenda ana scatter. Lakini yule anashikilia. He comes to poverty. Twenty-five. The generous soul will be made rich. The generous soul give generously. If you are stingy, the trap of poverty is with you. And he who waters will also be watered himself. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Those who water so must be watered. I've said number three is what? Stingeness. Number four. Very quick. I want to I want to reach number ten. Following fame persons. Following fame. People who are in fame. People who have, have never succeeded. That the people you follow all days, all your time, following fame persons. Proverbs 28:19. Proverbs 28:19. Very quickly, please. I want to be very chapter chap. number four. That's number four. It says, yes. He who tills his land will have plenty of bread, mm. but he who follows uh, frivolity will have poverty enough. Those who follow profanity, fail people, what happens? They come to poverty. Who is your friend? Your friends are the people who talk to your pastor evil. Your friends are the people who mock the church where you go. Your friends are the people who, who will speak negative to pastor's wife. And they are your friends. Tell me how you will succeed from their snares. They will arrest you. They will do what? Number five. Am I right? Number Lessness. Somebody who's less. If you are less, you can even pray. The any trap cometh will arrest you. Will it will it capture you? 
Proverbs 17, verse 5, no, chapter 10, verse 4. Listeners, Proverbs 10, number 4. It says, mm. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, mm. but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Makes rich. Not only rich of money, you can reach in health. You can reach in ideas. You can be rich in many things, all that aside to be money. But somebody who is working intelligently, intelligent work, makes you what? Rich. Number six, mocking the poor. You can't mock the poor and escape their snare. Mocking what? Pastor, what I say? Mocking the poor. Are you capable of, of feeding others, of giving somebody? When somebody is lacking, don't use it as your walking stick. Somebody may borrow from you. Somebody may think you are in a point to help. He has come to express his need to you. That's not the time you are using it against him. Don't mock the poor. Anybody mocks the poor, you are mocking God. When you mock the poor, you are mocking God. Proverbs 17.5 It says, He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. Look at this. When you mock the poor, you are reproaching the maker. The maker of all mankind is God. Finish. He who is glad at calamity mm. will not go unpunished. Well, yes, was a few. Number seven. Not contributing to God's work. Not contributing to what? To God's work. The same measure you use to give in the, in the, in the, in the God's work is the same measure is given to you. Everybody listen to me, whether you are what age you may be. When you don't contribute to God's work, you are empowering those traps to arrest you. I'm not talking about trap to kill you in itself. There are many traps in the battle of life. You are not contributing it. It's okay. Agai chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. Haggai chapter 1, verse 6, six to 8. Yes. It says, Yes. Ye have sought much mm. and bring in little. Mm. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Yes. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Well, yes, was a few. I'm a cheap. Why are we trapped with famine? Nchani kwa Why are we planting with cut harvest? Why are we schooling? We are paying school fees. Our children, they come. They are detained all the time. It's because, number one, we have never given to God's work. We give to school fees first before God. Things of God, you are lazy. You can't give. We are laboring much. We are getting into you. Why? In the works of God, we are not there. Blessed are you, somebody who can think this thing is not in the church, you buy. Not from your tithe, not from the offering, you buy, you bring it here. This place needs paint, you buy and paint. You are giving to God's work. You are giving to God's work. Nobody will plot any evil against you and prevail. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, was if you were. You're number eight. I want to finish, please. So already we are at one. When you don't give to the poor, the poor has come. You don't give. You don't when you when you give to the poor, the poor will pray for you. That is Proverbs 28 and 7. Proverbs 28, 27. Mm. He who gives to the poor will not lack. Mm. But he who hides his eyes will have many curses. Who eh? does what? Hides his eyes mm. will okay. have many curses. You are seeing the poor has come to your house. You are making mugari because the somebody has come. You want you think he has come to eat. You add water. You add water the chico. Muna the story. Hey, hey, ah, politics. You read politics. You come down to judge politics. You read that politics, you now talk about men politics. Hey, men nowadays are like dogs. You know, really, and then from there, and you continue adding water. You are hiding that which you have. Curses are men over you. Next one. Uh, not the last. 
Engaging in the long business. Engaging in what? Now, let me tell you, what can benefit you to engage yourself in business with a witch? Definitely will give your man to him or to her. How can you befriend a son of a witch? Are you sure? Praise God. When you are engaging in wrong business, even look at your friends, the people you share with, the people you share ideas with, are wrong people. Their snares will catch up with you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Lastly, what can make their snares to be more powerful when you walk in sin? When you walk in what? God loves all men, but he hates sin. I tell people here, every time you know you are going before God, don't go before God with sin. Make sure you have repented it. Any sinner, you are empowering the devil to arrest him. When you don't give to God's work, I've seen that one. When you give in small measures, in God's work, let's go. When you give in small measure, I want to explain one. Well. When you give, when you give, giving to God in small measure, Luke chapter 6, verse 8. I want everybody to read that one. And even it's written here on this box, in front of it. Uh, it's here, sister. It says what? Yeah. Give and it shall be given unto you. Listen to me. Do you want to be given life? Amen. Make sure that someone also is safe. You can't even take somebody's life and you expect yours to be safe. No. Do you want money? Give money. Shall be given to you. Complete. Good measure, uh -huh. pressed down and shaken together uh -huh. and running over. Uh -huh. Shall men give into your bosom? Shall men give into your bosom? You know you have nobody giving to you. Why you don't give? The same measure you use to give is the same measure shall be given to you. Not only to church here, even to the poor. Even to the needy there. What any measure you use is the same measure be given to you. Now, offering service is coming here now. Offering. Offering service. You will see people they have is they have kept 50 bob. Let me just show you. In fact. Whenever I give money to the church, I want the money to be, to be, to be like, even the pastor is coming to count. Not have a problem. But now you will see what will happen when offering time comes. Somebody will find you. And what you? Ba 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 ri ki ba ri ki ba 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 ri ki ba ri ki. Look at the way it is. And it's 50 bob. Even the policeman who was given nowadays on the road, this one is too much. You have coiled it now, you drop inside like this. When the person comes to now, now to a sub, uses like 10 minutes to unfold your money. The same time he uses to unfold your money, is the same time God will use to bless you. And even the way you have called it, what is, okay, let me ask you, what are you eating? Is it not your money? Is it not your money? Why can't you take it cheerfully? Remove it on, from your pocket. Remove it so well. And some at Mochirani I will teach that one. I will teach about what it means at Mokona in Egypt. Remove that money very well, like this. And go to the church and give it. Praise the Lord. Amen. I've given my offering already. Amen. Yes. Uh, you give it. It has finished. Amen. Yes. Now, why are you quitting it as if you are going to die with it? The same way you are giving to God is the same way God will give it to you. And I kunja 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 and I kunja. Give cheerfully. When you are coming to the altar, come loving. Just drop it. Give it. Give something best for God. Let me ask you here. 
How many have ever given God the best of what they have? You have never given God the best. In that current time, like now you came to church today, Pastor, you have a thousand, you have two hundred, you have one hundred. When did you ever try to give God the best and try to test Him? The only place you can test God is in giving. You can't test God by climbing to the corona and jump down and by testing God, you will die. But testing and giving is guaranteed. God has said it. Testing in giving. When did you ever test Him? You take God to bless you. Now, tell me, which has not to destroy you. Anybody who gives to God, God releases protection over him. We just can't pray with him. If you believe his accident, will never come on your way. Because God has punched on you. Do you know that people in the church will not, will not if you believe Magali Siamukach cannot die? Because if they die, the church has died. You have never noticed that one. Hey, yeah. There are somebody here. There are some people here. If they die, the church is dead. So for that reason, God will be something. Even if they are trapped in the other way, they can't. Why? God will keep them for the sake of the church. God is a spirit. will never come and be a spirit here now. He must bring a man here to stand for the church. Praise God. Now ask yourself, if I die, will the church continue? Pastor, God, if I die, will the church continue? No, it won't continue. It won't. Amen. Ask according to me. Because I know I am the vision carrier. And I am the most I'm not saying everything I do, I read more than anyone here. I'll say the truth. Mm-hmm. I want thing I know. I live. live. I give. Yeah. Hello? The moment we discover that, no trap of the enemy will arrest us. Amen. No trap of witches will arrest us. Amen. That of God, you know. What time for you to give is the love you have for the person. How many of you here are in love? Just be open and tell me you are I'm in love. Me, I'm in love with you. Me, I'm in love. Now, listen, how many of you are in love? Maybe you have somebody you love. I'm not asking now you are in love of evil. I'm, in, I'm asking how many of you are in love? You have somebody you love. You have a wife. That's just where. You don't have to love your wife. Ama, you have uh, you love Nani. Eh? So you don't love your wife. I'm not asks about loving God. I'm asking how many of you here are in love with somebody? Maybe it's a human being or it's a society. You have somebody you love. In the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So my every trap. Every snare. Laid down for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, cut your honor. Cut your honor. In the name of Christ, cut your honor. Can I tell somebody here? Let me talk to someone here so that you can peace yourself and pray. There's a trap laid for you. I spoke for the first one. Come here. Your business is going to close. Already the snare has been laid down. Amen? Amen. Let me talk to the second person. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 The snare is already catching up with you. Have you ever seen, I went to a place and I met a woman. She's very beautiful. But one of her legs, it may call something called elephantiasis or whatever. It's a good leg, but now uh, down there it has become so like a, something you cannot look at it. So it has it has swollen and there was something like worms coming inside, like something growing on it. Then you believe you you put ointment and whatever it can never look good. Then the skin has changed, has become something like that kind of a snake, kind of worm. It's it's swollen everywhere, and it's a very beautiful leg, but the leg. I see someone here. That is waiting for you. Say my leg. Say my legs. Any trap set for you. It will not arrest you. Let you go back to Seda. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This one I'm saying it because I'm saying because it's coming in my spirit. The trap has been set for you. 
is to cause embarrassment financially for you. People will come to you, they will meet you when you are seated with dignitaries, people you respect, and they start embarrassing you there because you owe them. Because you owe in front of people, in front of the people you respect so much. And now you are being mocked in public. What will you do? Now again, I'm not up. That's a trap which has been set. Would I go mocked in public? Mocked in where? What have I said? God is telling you this one. You will be mocked in public. You will be accused. You will be mocked. You will be abused in public. Such trap has been waiting for you for long. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every financial trap. Every financial, every financial trap. Every financial. It will not catch up with me. Oh, oh. Catch your honor. Catch your honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Catch your honor. Catch your honor. Catch your honor. Catch your honor. Every financial trap which has been set against me. I command you. Catch your honor. 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 In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Maybe he goes to drop it again. Some empty snare. Empty snare. Of sickness and diseases. Of sickness and diseases. Set for me. Set for me. Will not catch up with me. Will not catch up with me. Where that snare is. Where that snare is. To his near me. Through sickness and diseases, I command you in the name of Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, catch your honor, catch your honor, catch your honor. I'm going to pray that prayer, catch your honor, 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 catch your honor. God, you are on In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. For the last thing, I want you to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Any snare of any kind. Any snare of any kind. A sign for me and my family. A sign for me. Wherever you are now. Catch fire. Catch fire. Burn to ashes. 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 Radada. Shadabada. Burn to ashes now. Burn to ashes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Lift up your two hands to heaven and pick your words. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for all power belongs to you. Thank you for your word. Thank you. I speak to this one. And I pray, if I am your servant, any, any snare which has been set for him, which has been set for her, to cause shame in her finances, to cause shame in her family, Lord, for her to be snared in sickness and sickness, yes, Lord. Lord, any snare of any kind, Upon anyone here, I command the snare to cut fire and to burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak your impact upon them, your protection, Lord, your protection, your protection upon it, all of them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for every snare has been destroyed, every snare has been broken. Every snare has been broken. Every snare has been broken. Every snare is broken. You are free. You are free. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Somebody amen. amen. For those who are watching, I want to ask you to subscribe and share to many. For God to bless you. For in Jesus' name. Until next Sunday. See you. Bye bye.